Katya and I work multiple professions while traveling the globe. In the last three years, I had my office set in Southeast Asia, Turkey, Iraq, and most of Europe. I lived in Paris, London, and Tenerife, and currently I'm traveling the beautiful Colombia. I'm always in search of a great time, all while battling with anxiety and depression. I mostly travel solo and spontaneously, so these videos are not in any way scripted or planned. It's just my honest impressions and my stories. I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so I just checked into the Aita Eco Resort. And before I trash this whole place, I want to show you um, where I'm staying. I'm literally set on the beach. It's just there like... I don't know, is this 100 meters, 200 meters? I'm s who knows? <laughs> but anyway, I have this whole bungalow, which I think is for four people, all for me. <laughs> um, let's go check it out. So I have a nice table, two hammocks. I'm gonna be using this very soon inside to uh is it this queen or king size i think this is queen side uh, side size um a little lounging area fans mini bars yes there is some cold club columbia services inside thank you very much i'll be taking that in just a little bit and yes then we have the bathroom really nice really nice loving it and the most important well toilet <laughs> which is also important but the most important thing i'm dying for a nice shower oh and look at this you have a view outside cute is this beach towels so um, well should i go should i go jump in the sea and then take a shower it wouldn't actually be that bad would it is i think first i'm gonna have a beer oh, choices, choices. Oh, oh this is so cute i cannot believe i'm gonna be here for two days i already had some nice lunch i didn't make a video of my food <gasps> Oh, um, but I was so hungry. It was a really nice fish. Hope it was locally sourced. Um, okay. First beer. Or just take the beer on the beach and have a swim and then do the rest. Um, I feel tired because it's so hot. Okay, Mission Beach. Beach. It's on the way. Let's see. It's so cute. I love how it's all like made from natural materials. Like all the roofs are palm tree. I don't know. This path is just like some logs. Everything's like bamboo kind of thing. It's so cute this place. There's some huts that are like two stories. That's probably like a family room. Oh, sorry, I had a beer, so I'm like, uh, the waves are semi big. I'm just I I was so hot because I I came from Palomino all the way down the beach, walked for half an hour at like 2 p.m. So not a very good idea but let's jump inside well that was super easy because the wave just knocked me over and i was inside not very nice oh why the waves now look like super tiny before it was like no but anyways how gorgeous is this place so beautiful
while my phone's memory is completely full and I cannot edit, make new videos, nothing. But I'm still making new videos. I just wanted to say that I think the price of this bungalow for four people is about 200 euros per night. I mean, like, I'm not leaving this place for the next two days, am I? I think in many ways, what I thought Thailand and Vietnam would be uh, when I was there three years ago is now showing up that Colombia actually is like the paradise beaches, I mean. Because yeah, everyone goes to like Thailand because it's cheap and the beaches are amazing, but it's not really that cheap and also like the beaches the most beautiful ones are closed because of over tourism uh, and here you literally have everything like just for yourself and you know the prices i feel i mean come on like the hostel where i just stayed the bohemia beach that was 20 euros per day and you're in paradise like I don't know if this doesn't convince you to come to Colombia then <laughs> then I hope that all the other videos do because it's such a diverse and such an amazing country like honestly I've been almost every day surprised and blown away by either like how beautiful it is how diverse it is or like how nice the people are or like how affordable it really is especially for Europeans it has everything like it's just it's such a great destination you have the mountains you have the sea you have the jungle you have the cities you have everything so yeah I hope the Colombian tourism board is gonna sponsor this video <laughs> oh. all right I'm gonna go and Enjoy my uh, Club Columbia. Also, Club Columbia, you can also sponsor this whole series, I would say. All right, over and out. From paradise <laughs> I just got moved to a new bungalow yesterday I was staying just over there and now I have a even bigger room oh I don't know if you're even gonna see um, yeah it's just a massive um, there is a different uh, apartment upstairs I just have the downstairs, but yeah, I just had a really nice meal in the restaurant, uh, some rice, and in about 30 minutes I have a massage scheduled. So I'm really being spoiled and really spoiling myself here, and you know what, why not, like, I deserve it, I worked so hard. To get to this point where I am. So, should we take a look inside? Definitely one of my favorite features in any kind of accommodation in Colombia is the fact that they have hammocks. It's just so nice to chill in them. And ta da! This is a king size bed. I already trashed the place a little bit. Um, two little sofas and then inside I haven't even seen yet this must be wow really really nice and of course the shower that has a view outside and the little toilet oh this is so beautiful
the beach, listening to the waves and the birds it was so cool. I've actually never had that before. So now all that's left for today is this. Salud. And this. Oops. <laughs> oh. Oh. I actually have a hammock at home. I got it in Bangkok on my last day before the pandemic started, before I flew home. Yeah. But only if I don't have a home to put it anywhere. <laughs> oh, life. Life is good. Life is good. Hello, everybody. After two days, after two wonderful days, I'm about to check out from Aita Eco Resort in Palomino. I really, really enjoyed staying here. Not only that I had my own humongous bungalow, two bungalows actually, um, and it's always nice to have that privacy and that space just for you after, you know, some time of backpacking and staying in hostels. It was so nice. And I think the best feature for me is that there is no music on this property nothing no sound other than nature which means you're just listening to the sound of ocean and the birds and i really really needed this after a month and a half of literally no peace and quiet anywhere in this country this is the place like you need to come here it's so cool um, but yeah, I'm moving to Palomino, so I think I will see you there in the next video. So enjoy and bye bye.